We're back on the prime and dusty time for the moon match of the week. It's WCW prime match up Sting and Sergeant Craig the Pitbull Pitman. You know, crew, the animal rights activists around the world have applauded me, have gave me numerous cards and letters, have sent things to me to thank me for making all animals feel well right here on Prime. They really haven't, have yes, they? Yes, they have. Gorillas, uh, lions and tigers, and most of all, the most sacred of all Texas animals, the cow, the moo cow. Prime cut, match of the week. Right? Right. So I thought this, we would really bring the king of the beast to take the place of the moo cow, which is really the moo match of the week, but forget it's the moo match. And right now, I'm bringing in the line for the moon match of the week. Ready? Time now for our main event here on WCW Prime. And, of course, we call it the moo match, the prime cut match of the week, and possibly the biggest main event ever here on WCW Prime. The Nasty Boys take on the world tag team champions, Dusty, Lex Luger, and Sting. The masters of the clubbing. I'm talking about nasty bars gonna make your back crack and your liver quiver and your knees freeze. And on the other side, Luga and Sting coexisting with each other. Mm. How? We don't know. But bottom line, this is prime cut stuff. This is prime mash stuff. This is why the world watches prime. Because the moon match is upon us. Get back. Get ready. Because now then, Luga Sting, nasty bars. Moo match prime cut match of the week. And we're back here on WCW Prime. Cruz along with the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And Dusty, it has been said before of teams that come from two differing uh, philosophies. Let's talk about a clash of styles here on the WCW Prime Cut Match of the Week. You have the finesse, the 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 the, the, the splash, and the bite your nose off, and, and the and uh, the bite your nose yeah, off. Right. Yeah, Essentially, yeah, what you're talking yeah. about is the American males against the public enemy, and you're talking about the public enemy or public enemy mm -hmm. biting your nose off. Yeah, same thing. Public enemy will bite your nose off. That contrast in style lead us to the Prime Cut Match of the Week. And 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 when you go around the country, and everybody say, "I seen you on Prime, and we love the Prime Cut." Match of the week. A lot of people don't understand that the moon match means this is the best we got on this our main event. This is the moon match. This is the prime cut. This is where we get everything done. So I'm going to give it to you today. A prime cut match of the week you don't want to miss. The moon match coming at you. You know, Dusty, in all seriousness, there is not much more what, to in say. In all seriousness, yes. yes. There is not much more to say about the nature boy, Ric Flair, that hasn't been said already before so many times. The self-proclaimed and proud of it, dirtiest player in the game, 13 times heavyweight champion of the world. You've defeated him, he's defeated you, and he is here now in our Moo match, our prime cut match of the week. This may be the best time of the nature boy's career. Well, you know, I had thought that I caught him in his prime. You know, I said, I know he caught me in my prime, that I caught him in his prime. And lo and behold, I look up, and he is again, once again, world's heavyweight wrestling champion. Alex Wright, as we talked about, excited about being in the moon match of the week. Opportunity knocking on the door. Uh, Alex Wright today on Prime. Opportunity doesn't knock too often. He has to take advantage of it. So right here, Prime match, cut, moon match, all of it in one, right here. That was a good move. Back on WCW Prime Cruise and the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes and fans, we are cranked. <laughs> it is just uh, oh, less than a week away, actually, to WCW Uncensored, live and on pay-per-view. But right here, right now, on the Prime, it is time for a Prime Cut match of the week. The Barrio Brothers, two young men who desperately need a win here in World Championship Wrestling. They take on the American Males, the former World Tag Team Champions. What a great tag team match this is going to be, Dust. Well, in this Prime Cut match... Two things got to happen. The Ball Brothers got to get off quick, got to be ready, and they need a victory really bad. I mean, let's make no bones about it. You got the ability, Bio Brothers. Motivation is the key here. This is the prime cut match of the week. And I guarantee you one thing, I'm going to get my extra move just to see if they get off on the right foot. So here it is, the move match of the week, prime cut match of the week right here. 
Welcome back to WCW Prime Cruise, along with the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And Dusty, I think it is time now for, uh, I don't think, I know it yeah. is time now for what I think will be one of the most incredible tag team matches we have ever seen here on the Prime, or in fact here in World Championship Wrestling, or in wrestling for that matter. The Nasty Boys, the former, I believe, three-time world tag team champions to take on a team that has, in just a few months here in WCW, Public Enemy, made an extraordinary impact. Well, I tell you what, the Nasty Boys mass in the clubbing, and Public Enemy always bring their plunder with them when they come. This is so big. We talked about it this whole program. We knew it was coming. Prime audience around the world is ready for this. I searched the barnyard. I went all the way to deep Africa. I went to Zaya. I went over to Zaya and Barnosia. And I went up down to Mount, Mount Virginia. And I went up there where the gorillas were in the mist. And I went through the mist. And I came back down on the Jeopardy Plains. And I found the Moon Match Animal of the Week is going to bring this to you. And it's a big elephant. Get him, brother. <laughs> Can you make your ears move? 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 Let me tell you something, Thumbo. The bottom line now is the Prime has rolled alone. The Easter Parade has started. We talked about underachievers earlier. We talked about guys overachieving. Then we talk about the world's heavyweight champion, the nature boy, Ric Flair, Marcus Alexander Bagwell, the chore that he has in front of him, the opportunity knocking, Rabbit. You understand? Let me get your ears right. The opportunity knocking at the door of Marcus Alexander Bagwell. This is the prime cut match of the week, but very special today. The mood cut, you know, always I move for this being prime cut, right? But the children out there, they have never heard what a rabbit really feels like. So this is going to be the mood rabbit chomp. Let me get your ears right. Of the week for the prime command. Okay, wrap it up. Yeah. Fans, welcome back to WCW Prime Cruise along with the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty, as you know, it is time now for our main event of the week. And this may be the biggest match in the history of the Barrio Brothers' career. It's all the marbles, the World Tag Team Championship on the line. Well, without a doubt, the Bio Brothers, Latino flavor, if you will, they come in the back door here, but Lex Luger and Sting, if they ever were going to get them, I believe Sting and Luger aren't together as they should be. The Bio Brothers got a real shot at this thing. And in keeping with the Latin flavor, I went all the way down to Mexico to get the prime cut bull moo match of the week. Down there in Mexico where the moves are in Spanish. And here is a Spanish move to bring you to this prime cut Match of the week. It might sound a lot similar, but it's from Mexico. And we're back on WCW Prime. If only the fans knew what happened to us, you and I, what we talked about during the breaks, huh? Well, you know, Christopher Cruz, we are so excited on the Prime. Each and every week since 96 started, when it, when, when it was laid out in 96, and Diane was out there in the, in the arena universe looking around, and matches be going on, producers running around, people going crazy, prime sign for a new year, going all over the country. We said we got to have the prime cut moon matches better than anything else. And this one is no exception, because you know who we got? Public Enemy and the Harlem Heat. The Heat have felt to go. Public Enemy has not. They want it bad. You said it. I said it. This could go to the streets. Moon match of the week. Prime cut right here on the prime. You ready for it? Big mood this time. Big mood this week. Saved all week for it. Dig down deep. Big cow. Big bull standing out there. We're back on the prime time now for our prime cut match of the week involving Sting and the near 500 pound Shark. Now, this match is important, Dusty, because, as you know, at Slamboree, Sting faces a man even bigger than the Shark, a man by the name of the Giant. Well, let me tell you something about the Shark always being a member of the Dungeon of Doom wants to take out. It's a good and evil battle. You know what I'm talking about. Sting would just be named 
the 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 rest of the year. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And WCW with the big boys play, some call him the franchise. Let me tell you something about this matchup. It is so big that I went specially out to West Texas. And I went out there and I listened all night to find the biggest move for the biggest prime cut cow that I could find. And I brought it back with me. I had it on tape machine, but I said I can do it if I throw my boys right. And it's a move match of the week. Stinger and the shark. Will the shark attack come on the sting? We're getting ready to find out. Move match of the week. Prime cut time. The American Dream. Move it up. Back on WCW Prime. Cruise along with the American Dream. Dusty Rhodes and Dusty. The pressure is on. The fans are watching in Sweetwater, Texas. And they know that we have got the Moo match of the week coming up. It's Lex Luger and Sting, the World Tag Team Champions, taking on the Blue Bloods, and they are expecting a moo of Texas-sized proportions from you today. Well, truly a statement that was, is, is so true. Prime, now, you know, each and every week, of all the mail we get, and we're going to start mentioning towns like Area Indiana, which we had talked about in, in Sweetwater, Texas, this week, because of all the fans with a prime go watching WCW. Luger, Sting, the Blue Bloods, Third test, great main event, great prime cut move match right here today. Teams that that are on the verge of always doing something exciting on the prime. So here you are for Sweetwater and the whole Tinsley clan. See, I got a question for you about that uh, video we saw of Diamond Dallas Page. Who was that in the limo? Who, Who was that in the was limo? That? Was it a woman? Was it a man? Was it beast? Was it a Martian? Who was it in the limo that pulled him in off the street? There's something rotten in prime land here. Speaking of prime land... Oh, wait a minute. If we read... Would there be a clue in that if we read no, in your no, shirt? No, about it. This is, a, this is a contest we got running here. If you can read what's underneath this $150 shirt on my chest, if you can tell us right in prime and tell us what it say, you win like two free tickets somewhere, anywhere. Dinner with me. Dinner with you, who has been named for the cruiserweight title. <laughs> anyway, we talked about all these things. I'm through talking about it now because the prime cut move match main event is coming up. We're getting ready for it. I'm going to bring it to you. Everybody, take a deep seat and a far away look. <laughs> Welcome back to WCW Prime fans. Uh, if only you knew what went on behind the scenes here in World Championship Wrestling. It is time now. What? It is time now Looking for... Behind the scenes. Oh, <laughs> the cows have come home. Time now for our WCW Prime Prime Cut Moo Match of the Week. It's a big tag team match. The Blue Bloods, Robert the Earl of Eaton, along with Squire David Taylor, managed by Lord Stephen Regal, taking on the public enemy. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to ask you during this match, let you bring out some of the real intrigue in your mind about the difference in styles and contrast in these two teams. Okay. And, 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 I, and what the game plans are and how they get there because they are showcasing the prime. They had an opportunity now to be on the prime cut main event match of the week. This is where the cows do come home. This is prime cut. This is choice meat. This is the main event on the prime. And here's the moon match. Moo of the week. That was good. Well, we saw it at Slambury recently, live and only on pay-per-view. The Stinger going down to defeat at the hands of the Giant, the heavyweight champion of the world. And we're going to see him now against the near 300-pound, Dusty, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. I'll tell you what, this thing is big guy against a bigger guy. Yeah. When you take a look at the Giant, it's so big, humongous, if you will. And we're talking about world's heavyweight champion. But Duggan got them bowling ball hands, can hit you with a left can hit you with a rack, can punch your whiskers around for you, Mr. Whisker Feet, and get you because the prime is so, Mr. Whisker Feet, the prime is so, oh boy, I got so close, I yeah, should have won it. Close. Anyway, the bottom line is this is a classic Moo matchup right here for the Moo match of the week, right here on the prime. Christopher Cruz, the Magnum Dusty Rose, and the psychedelic head cameraman, Mr. Billy Tinsley. I'm going to bring you the Moo match of the week this week. And I believe Hacksaw Juggin got a chance. Ready? This is a good one, too. Mmm. 